Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the Dream Green Show. I'm Zeke, and today we're gonna to be talking about how many shares of each dividend stock would you have to own in order to make $1,000 of extra income every single month. Today we're gonna to dive into three stocks and see how much would it actually cost for you to earn $1,000 every single month. Let's get into it. We're back YouTube and we're taking a look into my Robinhood account. Over the last week, I'm up um, $1,407.94. My account is now sitting at $13,696.95. So I had a pretty solid week. Has the stock market hit the bottom yet? I'm not sure. If anyone tell you that they're sure that it hits the bottom, they're lying because no one actually knows, okay? But um, had a pretty solid week, up 11 um, 0.46 percent so today we're gonna figure out how many shares of each stock I'm gonna have to own in order to earn $1,000 of passive income from my dividend paying stocks okay what are dividend paying stocks dividend paying stocks is when companies agree to pay their shareholders a small fraction of their profits back to them so that um, the shareholders can eventually reinvest back into their company and it actually attracts different buyers to um, actually want to purchase shares into their companies. So some companies end up paying out their um, dividends quarterly and the companies in my portfolio, most of them pay out their dividends um, monthly. Okay, so the three that we're gonna look at in my portfolio is Tickle Symbol O, which is a monthly paying dividend stock, Realty Income, XPHD, which is also another monthly paying dividend stock. And then the only one that is not a monthly paying dividend stock, it pays out quarterly, is AT&T ticker symbol T. So let's dive right into it and go to my favorite stock in my portfolio, SPHD. If we take a look at SPHD, um, this stock has been one of my best paying monthly dividend stocks that I own in my portfolio. I'm currently down $217.25, down 21%. The last three months since the big um, news came out, mm, SPHD has been down 23.62%. And over the last year, the high of HPHD was $43.37. So right now, it's on sale for $33.24. So let's take a look at how much SPHD pays out per share. So we scroll down to dividend paying history, a number of 24 shares. They pay out a total of $1572. Of a little bit over 15 cents per share so let's just round it up to 16 cents per share last month I got paid out a total of three dollars and 77 cents from SPHD if they're paying out 16 cents per share how many shares do you need to own in order to make your $1,000 a month from SPHD with the price of um, SPHD right now is currently at $33.24 so let's just make that an even $33 so we go over to the calculator and we need to make $1,000 and it's paying out 15 cents per share, 16 cents per share. So you divide that by 16. You need 6,250 shares of SPHD in order to make $1,000 per month from SPHD, that's an extra $12,000 per year, but you can actually reinvest that money back into uh, SPHD and make even more than that by the end of the year. But let's just say you invest a one lump sum, that will cost you, SPHD right now is at $33. So you multiply that by 33, it will cost you a little over $200,000. If you wanted to invest $200,000 right now, you can earn an extra $12,000 per year from SPHD. As you guys know, I invest $200 every single week. That is $800 a month. So let's see how many months would that take me on this pace in order to reach $206,000. So divide that by 800 and divide that by, it would take me 257 months in order to accumulate that much money to make $1,000 a year. And let's just see how many years is that. A little over 21 years, okay? So it would take me 21 years of me investing $800 every single month into the stock market in order for me to have 200,000 to make an extra 
$1,000 every single month from SPHD. But I know and you know that it would be much quicker than 21 years, okay? I will reinvest my dividends right back into the stock. So instead of me investing just $800, even when I'm halfway there, uh, I have an extra $500 for my dividends to actually add on to my $800 that I invest every single month into SPHD, which would, extreme, which would speed up the process even more, a lot quicker. So I will get there a lot faster than 21 um, years. And also, if the price of SPHD doubles within the next 21 years, I will get there even quicker because I'll have more equity into the company and they will raise their dividends over the years, paying me much more than 15 cents per share. So um, on paper, yes, 21 years seems like a long time, but uh, I'll be able to go on a free vacation every single year, worth up $12,000 just for my dividends alone from SPHD. So this is one of my favorite paying um, dividend stocks. Let's take another look at SPHD. If we go to the last three months and go all the way down to the low of $25.66, okay? So let's figure that out. And let's say you got in for a steal at $25.66, $25.66. It will only cost you $160,000. So if you was one of the lucky few that got in at the bottom of SPHD, you are winning, my man. You are winning, sir, because you got in for a $40,000 steal. You are able to um, make an extra $12,000 every single year just by you playing this stock market. So congratulations to you, sir. Not congratulations to me because I only have 24 shares and I have a long way to go. But this is a snowball game, the snowball effect. I just keep reinvesting my div dividends over and over and over again. Eventually, uh, the amount of dividends that I'm reinvesting would be more than my actual money than I'm investing myself. So I'm playing the snowball effect, and I'm going to show you guys on my YouTube channel um, a small, growing a small account to a six-figure account over the next couple of years. So you guys make sure that you tune in and subscribe. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you is ticker symbol O, Realty Income. Okay, this is a REIT, is a real estate paying stock. It pays out monthly. Currently, I own $290 worth of uh, O. I'm down $54, and my average cost of this company is $68.65. So it is still on a quite bit of a sale right now in the last three months is down 21.7 percent down 16 dollars and seven cents so this one is also a monthly paying dividend stock is one of my favorite um real estate uh, REIT stocks that i own inside my portfolio so let's dive in and see how much will it cost in order to make a thousand dollars a month from tickle symbol o realty income with a price of 57.84 uh and it pays out all right, so if we look at my dividend history of Tickle Simba O, uh, this is a monthly paying dividend stock. So October, November, December, January, February, March, um, I went from 68 cents, 91 cents, $1.14, $1.63, and $1.63. So I own a total of seven shares worth of realty income, um, paying out 23 cents per share, okay? So this is a, a high paying dividend stock at 23 cents per share, and I got paid out a total of $1.63. So let's figure out how much would it cost in order to make a $1,000 a month from realty income. Okay, so we're over to the calculator, $1,000 a month divided by 23 cents. I will need 4,347 shares worth of realty income. And the price of realty income right now is $58. So you multiply that by 58. It will cost you $252,000 worth of realty income in order to, in order to make $1,000 a month for realty income, okay? So yes, you, you, are, you have to own less stocks, but it's gonna cost you a lot more overhead in order to make $1,000 a month from realty income. So. Right now, SPHD is still looking like my favorite. Let's take a look at the last one, which is a monthly paying dividend stock, AT&T. Okay, if we take a look at AT&T, took a symbol T, it is now at $30.70. So let's just call that $31 for the math. I own a total of nine shares. 
uh, $276 worth in the company. Right now, I'm currently down 11%, $34.75. Over the last three months, AT&T is down 20.34%. So uh, you guys see the trend. Every stock is on sale right now compared to where it's been trending over the last five, five years. The price is, is the lowest it's ever been in the last five years. So the last three months is pretty is is, is down dramatically. Okay, guys. AT and T is a quarterly paying stock, so you have to get paid out. So you have to get paid out three thousand dollars every quarter. Okay, guys. So let's take a look at AT and T. All right. So we take a look at my uh, dividend history of AT and T. I got paid out two dollars and four cents, five dollars and sixty one cents, and nine dollars and eighty eight cents. So if you guys see the trend, I am starting to get paid more and more and more for my dividend paying stocks because I reinvest those dividends right back into the stock. So the last one I got paid was in February. I owned 19 shares of AT&T uh, and they paid out 52 cents per share, making me a total of $9.88. So I got paid out 52 cents per share from AT&T. So let's go do the math on that right quick. All right, so we will need to make $3,000 and we divide that by 52 cents. So I would need to own 5,769 uh, shares of, of AT&T in order for me to get $3,000 every quarter. Um, let's multiply that by the price of AT&T, the price of AT&T, which is uh, $31. So let's multiply this by 31 and it will cost you $178,000 worth of uh, cash in order for you to get paid $3,000 every quarter of AT&T. That's the equivalent of $1,000 every single month. So, um, between AT&T, SPHD, and uh, Realty Income, we looked at a growth paying dividend stock, AT&T is a company. We looked at an ETF, SPHD, and we looked at a real estate REIT, which was tickle symbol O, Realty Income. So I showed you three different types of stocks that pays dividends so that you guys could see how much it would cost in each sector right now in order to make 12 thousand dollars extra every single year either a thousand dollars a month or three thousand dollars every quarter i'm going to be investing and reinvesting all of my money back into all three companies evenly i love them all if something was to happen in the stock market ets will hold up more because they cast a broad net over many different companies my REIT stock that i chose was tickle symbol o which was has been dependable to me over the last couple of years so i pretty much going to reinvest into that one as well and the new one on the block is AT&T my growth paying dividend stock and I'm going to continue to reinvest into that until I reach $1,000 every single month so if you guys want to see that happen make sure that you subscribe to the channel go down hit the thumbs up button it'll help grow this channel a lot and you can see from the very beginnings from a small account all the way up to a six-figure account to where I'm making that extra $1,000 every single month but other than that, go down to the comment section and you drop down a comment over what's your best paying dividend stock that you have in your portfolio. But other than that, this is Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace.